Welcome back, Boundary. It's so good to see you again. Last week, we discussed how you can set healthy boundaries and expectations for your loved ones. How did that go last week? Hmm. Well, that is good to hear. Sounds like you were able to enforce your boundaries and receive the results that you've always wanted. Were you able to keep your head above water last week? I know you felt as if you were drowning and everyone around you had a life jacket but you. Did you have your raft and life jacket last week? It sounds like you did. Okay, good. So what would you like to discuss today? I see. You have a difficult time saying no. Hmm. Now, is there a specific person that you have a difficult time saying no to, or is this just in general? I see, in general. So this is coworkers, friends, and with you being an emotional support bear, I'm sure you get a lot of requests from a lot of people who may need different things. When was the first time you felt this way? Let's explore this. How would you feel if you said no to that coworker that asked you to work late for them, how would that make you feel? I see, I see. So other people's approval is very important to you from what I hear. What does it mean if someone disapproves of you? What does it say about you? Hmm, it says that you're back. Okay, so we call that a core belief. A core belief is something that you feel about yourself. So if you feel that saying no to someone who asks you a favor makes you a bad person, it would make it more difficult for you to enforce boundaries because you feel in order for other people to approve of you and for you to be a good person, you have to say yes. Otherwise, it confirms that core belief that you hold that you're a bad person. Let's explore this. So, what makes a person good? Someone who is honest, yes. Someone who keeps their word, someone with integrity, good personality, someone who believes in God. Got it. These are all qualities that you uphold, correct? What in your behavior makes you a bad person. So you don't lie, okay. You help others all the time. Okay, so it sounds to me, core belief that you're a bad person isn't true. When we look at the facts, dissect whether or not that statement is true, that statement actually doesn't stay in and it comes up as a false belief. Boundary, saying no, doesn't make you a bad person. Saying no simply enforces the boundary between you and another person. It's where you end and another person begins. Saying no is very healthy and it teaches other people how to be resilient as well. So you can look at it this way. Saying no to someone actually helps other people grow and it gives you peace of mind but you have to feel comfortable saying no and standing in that space. And I want you to challenge that belief. Whenever you start to feel as though you're a bad person for saying no, make sure you look at the fact. Because sometimes when we hear things when we're younger, we believe it into adulthood. Well, this is a good place to stop. This week's assignment is to say no and check in with yourself. Write in your journal how you felt when you said no. Feel free to document the person's reaction because I have a feeling that you won't get the reaction that you think. And if you do, keep in mind that not having boundaries benefits others by sacrificing yourself, okay? I'll see you again next week, Tom.
That's my two cents. Take it or leave it. It's free. Thanks for watching.